In this video, we will see how to define duties which will be used to create the roster. The duties configuration setup is found under Settings – Duties Setup, and here you will find a list of duties default for a new operator. Feel free to use those or you can create your own. We are interested in the section Definition. To create a new one, we click New Definition. In the Getting Started section, I have provided you with some examples of duties that can be created using this pop-up window. These are just guidelines, but you can create various duties suited to your operation. The name is an abbreviation that will be visible on the calendar in the roster, so keep it short, even a single letter is good. Type, so duty would be things like available for flying or office work, off would be holidays or sick days, and training can be slots for training flights or office trainings. AOC. Tick this box if a duty is counted as duty time. The default times apply here. For example, an office duty could have set default times from 9 to 5, but that's not necessary. These can be set for each assigned duty individually. Leave this box blank for days off or available for flying. Duty calculations for flight time come directly from flight data, so make sure the times are not duplicated. Roster should only be used for planning or allocating slots for different activities, not for creating the flight schedule. Aircraft, if it's a duty on a certain aircraft. Legend, simply what it is. And the color to be assigned in the crew duties page. We have the summary of those settings in here. The only factor we do not set up in here is the crew panel color. These are set by design depending on the type. Olive green is type duty. Purple is standby. The AOC button allows to create standbys. Grey is for days off and dark green is for training. The reason for that is that the crew panel displays other activities such as flight, positioning, simulators added in the ops panel. This means there has to be a color coding scheme so that it is clear to read whereas the crew duties page, which is an older version of the roster, displays duties only which allows for custom color allocation. In the crew panel, the roster is displayed in the bottom part, including the duties, flights and so on. For details on this section, please watch the crew panel webinar, which I'll link above and in the description below. In the crew duties page, you can see the list of definitions at the bottom, and to assign them, simply select one from the list. The duties will show on a colour background. The icons represent actual activities added in the ops panel. So, flights, simulators and positionings. To remove the duty, simply go to the delete section and to copy and paste to use this option. Crew duty page displays everything in UTC time and duties can be only allocated for a specific calendar date. For more advanced operation, we advise the crew panel. Here you can check the currency status as of the current day and here you have the summary of days on and off within the selected time range. This date is set in the filter. In the filter we determine what we see on the screen. Please make sure to always check the filter settings if there's something missing or not right in the screen. And here we also switch to the draft mode, which allows to create drafts without a notification of changes being sent after each change. Please bear in mind the crew duties page, this whole section is no longer being developed as it is being replaced by the new crew panel. But if you require any further instructions, feel free to visit our online manual. Okay, so that's it for duty definitions. Now you can go and watch the crew panel webinar for full instructions on creating a roster and for any further assistance, please contact our support team.